lean is not about applying standards to standardized processes. And it's not about tools. And it's not just about a management system to use the tools. In the digital age, where things are moving fast, the key differentiator is going to be the speed of learning. And actually, learning is actually the fundamental basis of Lean. So Lean, as a strategy for learning faster than your competitors, which is the origins of Lean and Toyota, at its heart is about designing better processes to make better products, but those processes grow and develop as the, people, the competence of the people running those processes grows. And so actually learning is now the explicit focus of extracting dynamic economies rather than focusing on optimization. I think we see lots of technical potential in both the Internet of Things, in big data, in there are many digital technologies that offer great potential. None of those technologies do we yet know how to use properly. And so a lean organization that is learning fast is better able to conduct the experiments to learn from user acceptance and to develop a learning rapidly change oriented organization to learn from those experiments to see how we actually can use those technologies. Simply using those technologies and investing in those technologies carries a very big risk that they won't be accepted in the marketplace, that you've spent too much money. And that's a German problem, uh, is the enthusiasm for the technology sometimes lags behind, or the, the customer acceptance lags behind the, the technical enthusiasm. Lean brings those two things back into balance. I mean, Lean is about learning to do more with less, to do more work with less resources and less impact on the environment. And so actually, Lean very much should help us uh, preserve jobs in high-wage countries, but they're not just going to be jobs. They're going to be jobs involving people in a lot of deep learning uh, about making their jobs more simple, more easy, and more replicable. Well, actually, lean should really be talk, thought of as lean thinking. And lean thinking applies to, certainly to production, no question. It applies to logistics, it applies to product development, it applies in construction, managing construction projects. It applies in managing patient flows through hospitals. This is widely demonstrated now. There's almost no industry that does not have good examples now of how Lean can improve those, uh, those, the performance of those companies. So, so Lean has, has great potential. Uh, it's just the industry so dominant in Germany that that's where most of the attention has been. In my country, in the UK, where industry is not so dominant, we've spent a lot more time in other industries and other activities, even in government departments and in social services and healthcare and so on. And that, the potential in those industries is even greater than in industry because they absolutely have not applied even the basic standardization to, to the management tasks. There is no end to the lean journey. If you just think of it as, employ, as applying standardized tools and methods, maybe there's an end. But actually, the point of Lean is that there, it's a journey. It's a journey to continually learning how to do more with less and how to create more with less. And there's no end to that journey. Well, a perfect quality is the end. And 90% is not, nothing like good enough. I mean, 99.999% uh, is acceptable in terms of quality. So they still have room to, grow, to, to improve in quality terms. But it's not just quality. It's also designing products that are much easier for customers to use, that use less materials, that have less uh, impact on the environment. There are many other dimensions of improvement still to be had, even in the best organizations.